Welcome to this short training video explaining how to mark your current position and save it as a user waypoint. Here we have the aircraft moving along on well, no particular path and we'd like to go ahead and mark our current position. When you're ready to mark the position you'll take the range knob and you'll press that knob in by doing that. What you'll see is here in the top right, your lat long position is frozen at the point in which you pressed the range knob. We also see that engaged our pointer. The best thing to do is to go ahead and write down this lat long on paper in case you hit a button or a knob that loses the information and it would be difficult to retrieve that. So go ahead and write it down and our next step will be to press the enter button and you can see it gives us the option of reviewing the airspace of where that pointer is or creating a user waypoint. We're going to use the large FMS knob to scroll down and we'll hit enter to confirm our desire to create a user waypoint. That's going to take us directly to the place where we want to name that waypoint we could go ahead and dial in uh, using the small knob. We could change this to whatever particular name we we wish. I'll just put something random in here. And we can hit enter to agree to that. Now, I have the default set on this G1000 that temporary is not checked. I could scroll back with the large knob to temporary and hit enter. If it's checked, that means when I shut the unit down and power it back up, this waypoint will no longer exist. So if you want a long-term memory, don't have this checked. But if you'd uh, like to use this waypoint just for today, we'll leave it checked and uh, it will disappear after shutdown. Large FMS knob to the right will take us back to our defined waypoint type. In this case, it's we want it to display by lat long small FMS knob to raise our menu, large FMS knob to scroll down to lat long, we'll hit enter, and this should be the same lat long we wrote down just a moment ago. We'll hit enter to confirm. Go ahead and go back to our main menu, or our main map by holding the clear button down. Now how do we know if it actually saved that user waypoint? By the large FMS knob, let's move over to our waypoint group. We can scroll down to user waypoint information. And in just a moment, that's going to disappear. And we can see that uh, WB7, which is what we named it, it's down here with the uh, accurate lot long information. If we wanted to fly direct to that point, we would hit the direct key, hit enter, enter to activate. And now we have a flight plan taking us direct to that waypoint. Let's see how we look here. Yep, there it is. So if we engaged our autopilot, the aircraft's going to go ahead and start making a turn, and it'll take us the very short distance back to that waypoint that we uh, marked as a user waypoint. That's all there is to it.